Good morning, everyone. Thank you for uh, your return visit this morning. I hope you all enjoyed yesterday's uh, presentations. It's been a, been a great seminar, and uh, we've got some, yesterday we looked at the situation in front of us, and today we've got some speakers that will help us with some tools to actually do something about it. And um, before I get started with the day again, I just want to go over a few housekeeping things. Again, on the social media, we want to try to use hashtag Pinellas2017. And then after the conference, you will have all of the uh, PowerPoints and presentations and background data will be on pced.org slash 2017 symposium. So you can go right to the page that will have all of those presentations for you. Um, also, before you leave today, whenever that might be, please fill out the uh, evaluation form in the center of the table and just leave it there on the table. We'll collect it afterwards, but we really value your input because we'll be doing this again in a couple of years to get you an up, uh, update on where we are, and, uh, and we want to continue to have your input on uh, how to make this event better. With that, I want to introduce again our Chair of the County Commission, Janet Long, and uh, we'll get rolling. Good morning, everyone. Listen, I have to say, you all deserve a big fat medal for giving up your time on a Friday on this gorgeous Chamber of Commerce Day to sit in here and learn all about economic development and what we're doing in Pinellas County. So welcome back for day two. I'm thrilled to see so many of you made it back. Today, we're going to focus on tools and strategies and engagement and because yesterday we learned all about what the challenges were, and wasn't that Tom Murphy just terrific? Oh my God, he was wonderful. Thank you, Mike, and all of the team that put that together. So with that, we're gonna turn it over to Mike Mydell for a short synopsis of yesterday's program, which I already just told you all about. And, uh, and then you'll be able to go forth and do the same, very same thing here in Pinellas County when we start all working together to move these initiatives through. So thank you very, very much. Remember what I said to you yesterday about the penny for Pinellas. It's really critical to making us be as competitive as Pittsburgh and Houston and Atlanta and all of those other places that he told us about yesterday. So. Have a great morning, thank you. Well, yesterday we did hear about the challenges that are facing Pinellas County. And the biggest ones are the lack of available land uh, in order to put these wonderful high wage employers because uh, ultimately all economic development is a real estate transaction. Somebody has to lease some space or build a building, and if they have no place to do that, they can't come to Pinellas County no matter how much they enjoy the quality of life or the workforce or anything else that we have in the terms of benefits. So we've got to solve that problem. We also heard the importance of workforce, that every project that we work is focused on finding quality workers in sufficient numbers to keep their operations going and thriving into the future. They want to see that pipeline. So we did hear from our educational partners too about how we're building that pipeline and how we're working with our corporate clients to make sure they have the workers they need. And then we were challenged by uh, Mr. Murphy to, uh, to be intentional, to, to, be, to take risks, to get out there and do what needs to be done to turn this from a, an okay place to a phenomenal place that, uh, that will continue to grow and bring prosperity to all citizens of the community. 